Stick around and we'll get right to it. For the longest, I've been using one of these butane soldering irons. And I initially picked it up because when I started looking at the market, I saw the butane and then I saw the rechargeable type soldering irons. And I just wasn't sure about the rechargeable soldering irons. So I went with butane initially. However, when the good folks at Isotip reached out to me and asked if I wanted to check out one of their cordless soldering irons, of course, I said yes. So let's take a look at what came in this kit. This is the Isotip 7700 cordless rechargeable soldering iron. Apparently, it heats up to 900 degrees in roughly 10 seconds. And you're supposed to get 100 plus joints per charge worth of soldering out of this particular iron. It does come with a charging base, some tips, a Titan smart torch, silver bearing solder paste, lead free solder, flux gel, a tip cleaning pad, and some heat shrink tube. Let's go ahead and open this up and check out everything in the kit. Right out of the gate, we get a cool little catalog uh, that comes in every single kit. And you can flip through this and decide if you want to purchase some of their other items as well. Looking at the kit, we get the base for recharging. And that just comes with a standard 120 volt plug on the end of it. Below that, we get a little plastic bag that's got some heat shrink tube in it. And we see the three different tips that they have put in here. So you've basically got a fine, a medium, and a fat point that you can use depending on the job you're working on. Right up here, we've got something that they are calling Superior Cyber Gel. I'm assuming that's some sort of flux that we can use when we're soldering. They also include a nice little tube of solder. Now, I didn't try this when I actually tested this iron to see how it was going to perform. I used some solder that I already had on hand. In addition to that, we get this cool little Titan lighter. So this is primarily for uh, taking care of that heat shrink so that we can get it sealed down to whatever we happen to be working on. We also have this tube here. Apparently, this stuff is 10 times as strong as typical 6040 solder, and it has a low melting point of only 430 degrees Fahrenheit. I didn't test this because this wasn't really what I was interested in in this kit. They also include a sponge. I haven't wet this one down. I only used this kit so far at the house and I really didn't need this sponge. I had other means for cleaning the tip as I was working. And finally, the star of the show is the iron itself. Now this is fairly simple. I stuck it on the base, let it charge overnight. There's basically two settings on it. Lock, which prevents you from activating anything or we can rotate the button to the use position. Now, let me get this kit out of the way, show you a couple of other things. One nice touch in this kit is they did put a little metal shield right here so that if you've got the tip on the iron and you put it back in here and it's still a little bit hot, it kind of protects it from melting this foam. We also, one last quick little thing, we do have the destructions in here if you're interested in reading through those. Attaching the tips to the iron is quick and easy. You've got these two little probes. You're just going to flip the iron upside down. And we've got these two points here that we're going to insert the tip into. Once you get the tip inserted, you are ready to go. Now, another nice feature of this is when you set it down on the table, we still have some room underneath that tip, so it's not going to burn the surface that you set it down on. I did use this iron to make up a couple of 5.5 millimeter barrel connectors with power poles on the other end, and this thing performed great. So I will have to say that I'm going to give this a passing grade and I will be using this in my portable toolkit instead of that old butane soldering iron. I'll leave a link down in the description below so you guys can pick one of these up if you're interested. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.